In today's video, I want to share with you step by step on how you can share your Canva design as a template so you can start selling Canva templates as a digital product. Hey boss friends, it's Tisha. I'm here to teach you how to create and sell digital products using online business tools. If that's content that you're interested in, make sure that you hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any of these videos. Selling Canva templates is a great way to start a digital product business and start generating income online. Now previously, you would need to have a Canva Pro account in order to to access the feature to generate your template link. Now you no longer need to have a Canva Pro account. You can generate a template link with a Canva free account. So go ahead and hit that like button if you're ready to start your Canva template business. And let's switch over to my computer screen so I can show you exactly how to do this. Now I am logged into my Canva free account so I can actually show you guys that you can do this with a Canva free account. And I have here some Instagram posts that I want to share as a template. So the first step is to generate your Canva template link. To do that, you want to go to the top right hand corner, click on share, and you want to search for the template link option. Don't use the copy link option. This option will give customers access to your original Canva design and you don't want them to have access Access to the original. What you want to do is use the template link, which will allow them to create a copy of the original Canva design and therefore they can make any changes without making changes to your original Canva design. Now, if you don't see the template link option here, don't worry. Only thing you need to do is just scroll down, click on more, and then type in template in the search bar and the template link option will appear. So you go ahead and click on your template link and then you want to copy your template link. As a pro tip, you may want to just paste this somewhere where you will always have a copy of your template link. Step number two is to create your shareable document that you're going to deliver to your customers. So from here, you can go to a file, click on create new. You can type in US letter and click on US letter document and it's going to open up a new Canva design as a US letter document. Now, when you are creating your shareable document, you can make it very minimal design or you can zhuzh it up and add extra design elements. It's your choice. But for this tutorial, I'm gonna keep it very minimal and just share with you some items that you want to include in your shareable document. So the first thing I like to include is a thank you message. So I'm gonna go over to the right, click on text. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add some text. And I'm just gonna include a thank you message. And then next, I'm also like to include my contact information just in case if customers have any questions. And I just like to include my email address. Next, you want to embed your template link that we copy into your document. So a great way to do that is by creating a button or a full button for the document. So to do that, you want to go to elements, click on shapes. I'm going to use this shape here. It's like a rectangle and you can make it look like a button. I'm actually going to change the color to a lighter color. Let's use this color. And then you want to also add some more text and then you want to type in a call to action and your call to action can be anything like download templates, access templates, customize templates, whatever you want to use. So I'm going to just type in access templates. And I'm also gonna change this color to white. Next, you want to make sure that you highlight the text that you wrote for your call to action. And to embed your link, you want to go to the top right up here you want to look for the link icon if you don't see it like right now it's not showing it so you can click on the three dots and then you want to click on this little icon that looks like a paper clip you click that and you just simply paste your link hit enter and now your template link has been embedded into your shareable document some other items that you may want to include in your shareable document are social media icon links. So if you want your customers to connect with you on social media, you can add terms and use or license agreement. You can add a discount code so you can turn that customer into a repeat customer. And you can also add a link to a how-to video or an instructional video. And you can actually host your videos within Canva. So I'm just gonna add some social media links just to show you how that looks. And then we're gonna be done with this document. So I'm I'm going to just go to elements and I'm going to search for the social media icons that I want to include. So let's look up Facebook. And again, if you're using the free account, you just want to make sure that you use the icons that are free to use. 
And let me just size these up. So I want to change the color of these so just they can match a little bit. And then I'm just going to make sure they tidy up by highlighting and hitting position and hit tidy up. And now they all are in alignment. So you can embed your social media link to each of these social media icons. All you need to do is highlight the icon, go to the top right, click on the link, and then you want to paste in your social media link, hit enter, and now it, it, your link has been added to that social media icon and you just repeat that step for each icon. So you can keep your shareable document file very minimal like I have it here or again you can add those extra design elements to make it look a little bit more fancy and pretty but I just wanted to show you exactly how you can get it done. So step number three is to download it as a PDF. So let me show you how to do that. So you want to first make sure that you change the name of your document you can leave it like this or you can actually title it the name of the template that you are sharing so I'm going to change it to IG post template instructions and then you want to go back to the share button click on share you want to click on download and you want to change the file type to PDF now there are two options for a PDF there is PDF standard and PDF I've tested both of these options and both of these options will allow you to have the link embedded into the PDF. I have heard if you use the PDF print option, it disables the link. I've tested it so both options work so it doesn't matter which one you choose. Again, you can test this for yourself. So for here, I'm going to go ahead and select PDF standard and simply click on download. So here's what the PDF will look like once your customer opens the PDF. You can click on the access to template links and then it will open it up directly into Canva and the customer can start customizing the Canva design. If you are interested in these Instagram post templates that I created, I will leave a link down below in the description box so you can learn how you can get access. Now, if you want to create multiple Canva designs and create sell multiple Canva templates, you will need to create a template link for each Canva design that you create. Now, the good thing is when you create your share of a document you only have to create that once you can just simply make a copy of that document and then just go in and change out the Canva template link for each document that you want to create and step number four is to upload your PDF to your website or to the platform that you are using to sell your Canva templates you can use platforms like Etsy Payhip, or Gumroad make sure you are subscribed because in next week's video I will be making a tutorial to show you how to sell your Canva templates using Payhip. If you have any questions, leave those questions down below in the comments. And if you want to learn how you can create your own Canva templates, make sure to check out the video that's on your screen. As always, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.